Hello mga ate mga kuya, today we are unboxing isa sa mga legendary headphones in the world. This is the Sony MDR V6. V V6. Check that capture out na naglalag yung capture. <laughs> Ang ating webcam ay naglalag din. Hindi lag free ang ating capture. Paano na tayo mag-react real time? There we go. So, bakit lagi yung ano natin? Anyway, um, MDR V6, 5,000 pesos, around 80, 90 plus dollars. Uh, this is legendary in terms of the headphone space. This walang headphone, walang microphone ito. So, Wag nyo nang isip, wag nyo nang asahan na it's a site sa mga communication style headphones. This is a pure and simple studio monitors from the 1985. So this design has been around since the 1985, mga mga sir. So uh, wala pang mga cell phones nung panahon na yun. <laughs> Hindi siya designed for cell phones. It's designed for studio monitoring. This uh, format or this particular headphone has been around for generations. For many ge Before you were even born, this was the music production studio monitoring headphones of choice ng maraming... Video producer, video audio producer, Eclavu, no? Kailangan patayin ko yung ano, yung focus peaking. Uh, may detour tayo, ng focus, pat patayin ko yung focus uh, peaking. Uh, zebra, no, not zebra. Uh, focus assist. Can I turn that off though? How do I turn off the focus peak? Uh, fine. Lagay natin sa red high. Ganun pa rin eh. May pula pa rin yung ating camera shot eh. May tint tuloy ng, ng red yung ano. Anyway, here is the MDR V6. Yan ang close-up natin. Oh. MDR V6. Tignan nyo naman yung design. Ha? Huh? That's back in the 90s. That's back in the... Actually, okay. So, long story. Uh, the This headset itself. Um, the design is 86. But the packaging has been updated nung, during the 90s. So, this is 90s packaging na. Okay? But back in the 80s, they had a different packaging. Like I said, these are legendary headphones. Super tibay. Uh, maraming owners nitong headphones na to na... Super bilib sa kanya because of the accuracy of the sound. So, slightly bassy pero maganda pa rin yung sounds niya talaga. Um, and, uh, ito na yung updated. This is the new nylon bag for the Sony MDR V6. No? So, they used to have a, a sort of leatheret bag. A vegan leather bag. Now, it's a, a, a nylon bag with the Sony... Uh, what is that? Embossing? That's actually an embossing. Come on, focus boy. There you go. So it's some sort of embossing. I don't know how I feel about that. Smells like typical nylon bag. We have a certificate of authenticity sa likod, I think. What is that? Customer Information Service Center. And then the original ones have the MDR V6 uh, operating instructions in this plastic bag. So watch out for the fakes because they don't have the plastic bag on that. And here are the headphones themselves. Now, kung takot, kung interesado kayo dito for a lot of your smartphone users, uh, I gotta give you a couple of warnings because uh, these are not typically designed for headphones. Even though your headphones, uh, your smartphone can can definitely drive these, but meron siyang mga disadvantages for headphone users, particularly mahaba yung kable and um, Wala siyang microphone. So, yun lang yung pinaka most of the disadvantage niya for uh, people that want to use this for smartphones today is wala siyang uh, microphone and 
Mahaba yung cable. So which we'll get to re to the to see that right now. So we have an optional screw in adapter for amplifiers and such and such. There it is. So you screw it on and then this is not golden tip then hindi pa uso yung golden tip ng 1980s. Uh, but nobody that doesn't really matter. Uh to lang. Nobody that, that doesn't that's just a myth. Uh, for the most part, the gold tip, uh, no. Uh, the the thing with gold tip is they don't corrode as much, okay. But they don't change the the actual sound uh, quality. Anyway, uh, there's not. Oh, see the packaging is. If you can notice correctly, this is not super luxurious packaging. Even though merong kang little nice little uh, satin thing area dito. But if you look closely, it's pretty much cardboard, no. Um, <laughs> this was the the standard quality of what unboxings look at the time. Tignan nyo yung ano. It's a, it's a, it's a, they did a pretty decent job of making it look nice. Uh, but this is still cardboard. Mag-unbox ka ng Xiaomi product today. They have, they have done a very good job of uh, making the product look expensive. No? But uh, these uh, monitors, well, they're old school. This is old school as old school can get, okay, for headphones. And I'm super excited right now. So, I bought 5,000 pesos, like I said. Um, although, yung ibang sellers are selling it for like 6,000 plus. I bought the last unit sa isang seller sa Lazada. I think it was, um, I think the name was Urban Box or something like that. Let me get this. So, dito maraming nahihirapan mag-unbox itong part na to. So, the original MDR V6 always come with this bag uh, for the coiled cable. So, this is a spiral coiled cable um, with a tape. No, If you're buying a fake MDR V6, there is no bag for the cable. So, I'm very happy to, to see that this is an original original MDR V6. And I'm trying to take care of just... Most people just cut this, but I don't want to actually do that. You know, I want to try and not cut my cable on an unboxing video. You just have to wait for me a little bit while I try to navigate this, uh, this little guy. Yes, here we go. So, old school. Check it out. Nobody uses these anymore. Tape. A transparent tape. Scotch tape. On, a, on an unboxing. Everybody uses zip ties now on unboxing headphones. So, you have a pretty basic cable here. All of these are like super old school type materials for boxes. Uh, this design has been here since the 90s. So, here is the long cable. Oh, this is not that long anymore. Eh, this is manageable, actually. I don't like the uh, some of the coiling. That's going to... Hopefully fix itself at some at some point. Sorry, wala pala sa camera. This is not too bad. I can this is about yeah. Maybe you know, once you stretch it out, it can be ten feet, but if you don't stretch it out, it's probably two meters. Yeah, it's probably two meters. That's not too long. So here are the headphones themselves. They're not the biggest headphones out there, no? Um, and then the, you'll notice that the little, um, they have exposed cables right there. You know, so some people are saying that that might be an issue, but no, that's not an issue. Uh, people have owned this for over 30 years now. People have owned pairs of MDR V6 headphones that have lasted for 15 years. They just changed the, the ear pads and they still work. So don't worry about the... You know, the longevity of the exposed wire here. So here is the right side. It is labeled by a sort of a pinkish red R. There you go. Pinkish red R. And then the left side is labeled by a, a cyan bluish left. So it's not, it's old school design as well. With some coloring, colored labels for the left and right side. And then if you look at the cups themselves, it says Sony Dynamic Stereo Headphones. MDR V6 and then look at the this is when you know your headphone is for old school stuff when it says your headphone is for digital right in today's 2019 
e- almost every song you listen to is digital, right? Almost every song. There's not a lot of analog users these days. But um, back in the 80s, back in the 90s, people still needed information about headphones that could be used for digital. But obviously, this is just a marketing name when they were launching these headphones. They were marketing this with uh, the Walkman, the CD man, the Discman. So they had to name it for digital. Compact discs, basically. And then we have the uh, the padding up here. As you can see, original padding. If you get a fake headset, the padding is very much like super wavy, crumpled, ugly. Okay. And uh, here are the cups. Sorry, not on the camera. Here are the cups. You can change these. These definitely will, you know, break in, in at some point because I've had Sony headphones that have these. They uh, fray eventually. But I'll buy some Bayer Dynamic replacements. Bayer Dynamic makes uh, good replacements for these ear cups. They're not the largest ear cups in the world, I have to admit. I have some comparison headphones for you to, to use. And uh, the cable is relatively thick. Boy, it's not braided because... 1985 design um, but it also is a coiled cable because old analog <laughs> cables like these coiled cables it's a bit heavy especially since it ends on a metal uh, metal 3.5 millimeter four pole jack that was that's still alive today with a little shrink wrap no nose or neck and then actual thick boy metal on the end there and then you can screw in a head the i forgot what size this is the quarter inch jack or something like that i forgot what this was this was for amplifiers and stuff like that see old school this is used for old school audio equipment that you need to have the bigger jack but i'm primarily going to use it for pc stuff for music stuff on my smartphone and that kind of deal now, I don't know what I should do next, if I should listen to some music while on it, but then you wouldn't hear me. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's do this. Do something like, I'll put my... All right, you should be able to still hear me. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move this uh, camera. Hey, look at my face. Look in my face, boy. Okay. A little too much. There you go. So, first time to wear the Sony MDR V6. Oh, where's my where's my glasses? I gotta wear my glasses. There you go. First time to wear the Sony MDR V6. Get the sweat out of the way. Move the camera a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Sorry, a bit sweaty. Some you don't understand the amount of work I have to put through to get this stream going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the headset has a clicky clicky uh, adjusting thingies there you go with numbers on them let me see if I can get that in focus numbers on them uh, this one says 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and it goes up to 12 I think focus <laughs> I'm gonna set it to 5 and set this side to five. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're definitely a bit more on ear than other, my other headphones. Ooh, that's a tight. That's tight. That's what she said. That's a tight seal. Oof. There's a little bit of underwater sound. If uh, and you know. The feeling of not be, being able to hear your own bodily breathing and uh, heart beating. That's, that is one of the most sealed 
uh, closed headphones I've ever um, worn. That's crazy. Huh. Okay. I'm going to just listen to some music on my a smartphone, if you don't mind. So, Galaxy S10 Plus. Plug it in. No microphone. Ooh, I heard the little... Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Uh, Spotify. It's going to complain because I was playing Spotify on my PC. Let me just play some random music out here. What do we got? Uh, wow, the Verge cast. <laughs> Let's play some uh, black suits come in because I don't know why. I had this. I play. I watched the uh, Men in Black one and two recently. Let's play this guy. Uh, listening to listen on this phone. What? It? Kick music? No, that's not it. Um, here we go. MIB two. Here we go. What? What? My Spotify crashed. Lol. The the three seconds of music I got was really good though. All right, black suits coming. Here we go. Dang. All right, all right. Very crisp. All of the guitar, the bass, and whatnot, they're not overwhelming so far, but they're crisp. Let me, let me just, I don't, I don't have a lot of, Let's play some Guardians of the Galaxy. What's 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 good here? Um, let's do. Bring no 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 no. Sorry, I I, I didn't I didn't uh, get prepare a song list, guys. What is that? Um, come and get your love. Here we go. Ooh. Come on and find it. So, so divine. Come and get your love. Wow, okay. Very clear. It's not like super boomy, but everything is clear from all the range. Uh, God, what should I put in here? Also, my wi I'm not on the right Wi-Fi either on my phone. This is a great, great, great video. Um, search for Bolts on Parade. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a bit loud.
Wow, 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 wow. Play some Spice Girls. No, I don't want that one. Hmm. Let's play stop. Too fast. That's great. That's good. That's good. Uh, aqua. Aqua. What's a good aqua song? Uh, Around the world. Come and see. Wow. Okay. Uh, very clear. Uh, I didn't think it would have so much uh, high frequency, uh, but uh, I noticed that a lot of people have been saying that even though the MDR V6 is a little bassy, uh, more than the 70, 7506, I think is the other model. Um, but the high end is also very, very crisp. Um, hmm. It's, it's definitely V shaped, as most people say. It's definitely V shaped. Um, well, there's a. Some people say there's a huge, uh, there's a drop off at the super low end that people won't be able to hear anyway. But, hmm. Very good headphones for sure. Uh, definitely liking it. Very, very clear, crisp sound from the range that you would really expect. Like clear, crisp bass, clear, crisp, crisp vocals, clear, crisp uh, highs. Um, a little bit accentuated towards the bass and the vocals. Uh, I mean, bass and the highs, but um, it's actually kind of bright. I don't know if people say that uh, this audio is a little bit, a little bit bright, but there's, there's definitely bass there. Um, I think it's definitely one of gonna one. Mm, compared to my other headphones, I think it's one of the definitely the better ones. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So this one is the obviously this is my streaming slash recording slash whatever headphone. Uh, this is the Turtle Beach PX3. This it's a gaming class headphone, but the microphone is good. That's why I use it. The headphone quality is pretty decent. Um, the headphone quality is just mm, I don't know, not not so exciting. I guess maybe it's 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 more of a middle middle it, it accentuates the middle but falls uh for bass and 
ties this this headphone and then i have a sennheiser i'm gonna take it out of the cable na lang. there we go uh, this is the sennheiser um this is another gaming headphone this is the sennheiser pc 37x from mass drop it's a mass drop style headphone uh got it for about 130 ish dollars with a decent microphone but believe it or not the turtle beach px3 has a better microphone than the mass uh, than the sennheiser pc 37x even though this is basically equivalent to the sennheiser game uh zeros or game game zeros i think because this is the open back or the semi open uh this one though is uh fits me better Ooh, whew, that's seal is crazy so instead of so the sony has a leatherette pad that sort of is hitting me uh just on the tip of my ears right there just on the tip of every single part of my ear and it's making a pretty good seal because it seems to be overlapping the lobe a little bit and just get it. yeah you can see my ear i hopefully i cleaned it <laughs> and then this is the Sennheiser. The Sennheiser is over ear. If I wear it, make a little adjustments, and then the entire thing goes over my entire ear, right? And the Sennheiser, they're great. They're, the soundstage is good. Um, a lot of good things have been said about the Sennheiser. Uh, it's maybe not for me, but I think it's a good quality sound. And the $130 is definitely worth it for the Sennheiser and the PC PC 37X. But obviously, you you got to bow to the bow to the king, bow to the legend, baby. This one seems to be better than all of the headset, all of my headsets so far, um, which is to be expected because these are, like I said, legendary headsets. So we got. Uh, it looks like oh this is metal metal plastic metal plastic leatherette and then it says studio monitor on top um so branding back then was not such a big deal oh my god my sennheiser is all banged up well where did you get this scratch dude what the oh my god it's got so many scratches what the hell okay um, so it has the studio monitor badge on top. Nobody cares about that anymore. Yeah, you'd better just have little big B beats on it. Um, and also, if you look at it, this is some classic branding. This is the classic, maybe hopefully get out in focus, the four digital branding. So keep that, keep in mind, look at, look at the four digital branding closely because some fake MDRV6 has the four digital logos pretty badly done the 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 little digits the little little pixels because if you if you look at the four digital branding there's little pixels little small pixels on the four digital branding and the fake mdrv6 has the four digital pixels not aligned properly so watch out for those um i never expected it to be so small the box is really small for a game for a headphone uh the sennheiser has a big headphone box the akg k220 that i have has a small really large also a large headphone box from mass drop um, and i'm expecting a couple more headphones from cos uh, audio hopefully i'll get it tomorrow from the post office cross fingers um wow this could yeah for for audio quality wise oh my god Audio quality wise, I think these are my best pair of headphones so far. Um, I also have the Cos KSC 75. Those are great for portability. Um, but uh, these, these are great. Let me just. Mm, oh, how many minutes have we recording? Uh, I don't even know. Recording for 30 god dang minutes. Great. Wonderful. People are, gonna, are really going to watch this. <laughs> uh let's play um back to the future let's play power of love 
Oh yeah. All right. Uh, one thing I want to say is, uh, you know that the audio or the music is really, you're really feeling the music when you when you close your eyes. You don't normally do this on most headphones. Like, oh, you're playing music and then like, oh yeah, I I like the song and then you close your eyes and then oh god, <laughs> oh god, I hate that. <laughs> but on good headphones, once the music starts playing, you you you're naturally and you're naturally sort of um, um, your your natural action as a person is to close your eyes and and listen to the music clearly. Once you're hearing clear music, but with not, it's not clear music, you don't even close you don't close your eyes because when you close your eyes, it looks it sounds terrible. So that's one sign of a good headset is uh, when you have good headphones on, you close your eyes and then just focus on the music. Um, maybe maybe, maybe I'm just overselling this headphone or not. Uh, this is one of my... Admittedly, I haven't spent that much uh, on headsets. Um, the AMD... Uh, the AMD... The AKG K220 was like $50. This is probably my most expensive headset. At $130, I don't really have like super expensive headphones, but I do understand the quality. I do understand good quality sound because I always listen to most of them uh, through, you know, affordable but good headphones. Uh, Piston 2, for example, is an affordable good headphone. Uh, the Cos KSC75 is an affordable but good headphone. I've had a pretty decent experiences with good heads headphones and speakers before um and uh i'm not an audiophile i'm not an expert but i i do understand the quality what i'm looking for uh, as a person that produces video most of my work um from a from a audio production standpoint that's important to me so i listen to audio very 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 um closely okay uh that's that uh, i like the obviously i really like the mdr v6 i bought this for five thousand pesos like i said um if you're a musician for example you can use this as your for example playing keyboards playing guitar put it in your amplifier uh or somebody like me if you want to just use it for uh, music appreciation or ga even gaming as long but unfortunately it doesn't have a microphone but that's okay for me because I I do not typically don't use this is the only microphone I use because the microphone is good um, so yeah that's about it Alex from attackalclass.com oh, I don't know where I'll upload this but Alex here um, thank you for watching hopefully that is uh, gives you a little bit of an idea of what the MDR V6 is um, definitely my best sounding headphone so far Bye.